An urgent search underway to find a missing tourist submarine that disappeared while exploring the shipwreck of the Titanic. Five people are believed to be on board, including the CEO of the company that conducts the trips, as well as a British billionaire and a French pilot. Before the submarine left for its trip, the billionaire Hamish Harding posted on social media that the area around the, the Titanic had its worst weather in 40, uh, in 40 years. Uh, an urgent search now underway. To discuss this, let's bring in Independent Senator Rex Patrick. Rex, thank you so much for your time. You are a former submariner. How worried are you about this expedition? And, you know, do you think there's any chance that it has simply lost its communication facility or do you think it is in dire straits? Uh, look, I think the situation's uh, really pretty dire and I wish I was wrong in saying this, but uh, if the submarine had simply lost communications, the, the standard operating procedure would have been to have the submarine surface. Uh, that has not happened and that means one of two things has happened. Either the submarine's run into some trouble and is now sitting at the bottom of the ocean with uh, the five people on board or alternatively something catastrophic has happened in which case uh, it was all over you know, 24 hours ago. The problem is that the weather conditions are so bad. Um, Hamish Harding, before he left, he said these were the worst weather conditions in 40 years. They took the small window that they had. But the problem is that it makes any rescue effort really difficult because how can authorities send another vessel down there that deep in these sort of conditions? Yeah, that's one of the difficulties. Uh, look, when you are deeper than uh, a few hundred metres, what's happening on the surface doesn't generally bother you. It's very smooth, very calm, but uh, there are issues with deploying uh, both uh, you know, the, the initial submarine, uh, which they obviously managed to do, but to get re uh, a rescue vessel there of some sort uh, is hugely problematic. And it just adds to the complexity of this particular operation. Uh, they don't know where the, where the submarine is. There's going to be, have to be some sort of uh, remotely operated vehicle that is transported uh, from the Canadian coastline uh, to the area. That is going to take a significant amount of time. Mm. Uh, then they're going to have to worry about deploying. Then they're going to have to worry about searching. Yeah. Uh, and then right. at the end of all of that, they have to worry about recovering. And uh, I don't think there's any time left to do all of that.